Hey, my beautiful collective. Welcome to Swift Intuitions. If this is your first time on my channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification button if anything resides. And if this is not your first time on my channel, hey, family, how you doing? Happy Easter. Happy, happy Easter. Okay, we're going to get in this energy, but... Heavenly Father, I thank you right now for my beautiful collective. I ask you, Heavenly Father, to meet them where they are. Anything that they're going through, let them have the vision and the strength to get through it victorious. Victory is our portion. We are powerful beings. We're walking in it. We receive it. It is so. All right, collective. So, I was having some technical difficulties with the videos yesterday. I still have a video uploaded that is taking forever. So, I'm just going to let it take forever. Whenever that mofo upload it, upload but today for the energy and our Easter week message is a love and light. Can I get a question? Message is a love and light. Collective, I have to stress. There are situations that's about to come up that um that's gonna require your patience, that's gonna require you to not let it um put you in a in a in an energy of um I don't know. It's like um, uh, energy of disappointment because I feel like there's people that are coming around you at this time and they're going to want to siphon your energy. And some people are going to want to tag along like be like they connected at the hip. You have some people that are going to try to trigger you, meaning they're going to try to do or say something to get under your skin so they can get a reaction. And uh, I'm saying right now, don't 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 give them that reaction remember we are gods act accordingly all right well, that kind of sounds kind of serious that that message was serious no but seriously don't let nobody fuck with our energy we're in a powerful place right now let's stay there okay the question i have is is there something i should let go of to be able to move forward now what did I just say? <laughs> Is there something that I need to let go of to move forward? Yes. So, guys, with myself, I can only speak for myself, right? And um, I'm saying right now, things are coming up to make sure that we are leaving everything that needs to be left in the past. This, uh, this new beginning that a lot of you guys have been manifesting, that a lot of you guys have been working towards, it is here. And God says that in order for you to move forward effectively, you are going to have to let some of those things, you got to let a lot of things go. I know you like, mercy, we didn't already let go of everybody. It's just me, bitch. It's just me. I know, I know, I know. But the thing is, in this spiritual world, you can let something go not communicate to it but you could still be attached to it spiritually yes i know like that mofo you that about five six ten years ago you still think about from time to time they're still in your energy field not just that but if it's somebody did something to you a while back and when you if you see them like that that energy of discomfort of hurt of pain will will reside will, will will begin to rise up in you and you like dang this has been years but i still remember that spirit said that too we must let go we got to let it go because the we have a lot of big things coming and with those big things coming collective we cannot let past thoughts affect us because the truth is is that when you rise up those same people from five, six years ago, you ain't seen them in years, will pop their mofo ass up. And, the, and and if you have not dealt with the, if you have not resolved that issue with yourself, if you have not healed from it with yourself, then that could still affect you in your new beginning. When that energy was supposed to be left in the past, I'm going through this shit right now, bros, sisters right now. So with that being said, be mindful we got to let all that go. We don't forgive. I mean, we don't forgive people just so that they could, they could be like, oh, yeah, we're friends. No, we forgive them for us so we don't have to hold on to it. Because at the end of the day, if they need to apologize about something, you realize it wasn't me. It was it was you. You Your insecurities had you do the shit you did because of how you was raised. The healing that you did not receive for those issues is the reason why we had an issue in the first place. And collective, if, if naturally they were in the wrong, then, you know... That right there, yeah, I forgive you. I forgive you for you, and I forgive you for me. Mostly for me, because I can't hold on to this. That was your mess up, whatever. That's cool. No, I can't fuck with you. 
But just know, I ain't got no beef. I ain't got no hard feelings. And that's the same way that your energy needs to be with every situation that you deal with. If it's dealing with your daddy, your mama, you know what? I don't care what y'all do. I'm at the place right now where I'm in control. Back then, you could have had control because you had control over my mind, my thoughts. Listen, to be a guy, you have to be control of your mind. You have to have full authority over your mind and your thoughts. Yes, we can alter our thoughts. I was sad early, but you know what I said? I That is not my portion. Unspeakable joy is my portion. So what I do is I affirm what I already claim is mine. Joy is mine. I'm not gonna sit up in no sadness. I'm not gonna sit up in no in in in, in no energy of oh I'm lonely. I'm alone. No, nah, that ain't gonna happen. Because back then when I felt I was alone, then I had some issues. But now I know I got my people with me. Not just that, I got y'all. Yep, I claim y'all is mine too. Fucking right. I be venting too. You feel me? But anyway. Spirit is saying some things are about to come up that you're going to have to let go again. I know you like mercy, let it go. Yeah, but you got to let them know. That, well, you're not even just let them go in your spirit, in your energy. When these people arrive and certain things will rise up, you got to have a nonchalant. I, nothing exists around me. I don't exist around it. I, nothing should alter the way you feel because all you're focusing on is you. I can't give nothing my energy, not even past thoughts. <laughs> oh, collective you can't give nothing your energy right now only your past thoughts i mean not even your past thoughts because if you relive the past thoughts you are bringing it to your reality remember your brain does not know the difference between a thought and the reality so don't play the things that you do not desire only play those things that you wish to come and they will come all right mark my words family messages love and light <laughs> messages love and light for my beautiful collective on this beautiful easter sunday y'all look so good why why you ain't go to church <laughs> i'm just saying you know you at church right now you know when when the people of god the people that understand and come together it's the building is not the church it's the people the energy that the collective is the church so I thank you for coming to Sunday, uh, Sunday church with uh Swift Intuitions with your girl Mercy as the residing pastor. I just want to say I love you and I'm happy that you came today. You know what? Cause you made it here today. I know victory is your portion. Ah, ah, do y'all hear me? <laughs> and no, for y'all, I am not mocking it. I am serious as hell. And if you know me, you know I'm serious. So thank y'all for coming to church this Sunday. The people are happy you are here. If you in church, can I get an amen in the bottom? That hey, you 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 know victory is yours. Put an amen in the bottom if victory is yours. You better claim it. You ain't gonna claim it. I know a lot of people in the collective that will. <laughs> Let's just love it like my beautiful collective on this beautiful Sunday. The collective is powerful, brilliant, the unfuckwittable. Look, what I was just talking about. Look what we got. We got the Six of Swords. We got the Six of Swords. What is this? This is emotionally moving away from a situation. This is emotionally no longer giving your energy to those things that no longer serve you. I can't make this up. I really can't. There's something that is coming in that 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 you're going to have to release. I can't give it no more of my energy because I know that my focus, whatever I put my focus in, that's where my power goes to. It's so many power, it's so many uh power um vampires, energy vampires that are out there that's trying to siphon your energy. Do not let them do it, collective. You are leaving from this. You you're no longer being attached to it. You have no power over me. Power over me. What is the question? Is there something I should let go to be moving forward? Yeah. Let go of how you feel about a lot of these dead end situations. I don't care who it's with. It's not lonely at the top. It's lonely when you don't know that you got your, your real people with you. It's lonely when you trust in your energy and people that are not capable of even showing you how, how great you are. Why? Because you need to show yourself how great you are. You need to start believing in yourself. Don't expect the motherfucker to come tell you that you the shit. No, bitch. I'm telling you I'm the shit and you just going to have to see it. Smell me when I walk by. Simple as that. We moving away from things that ain't benefiting us. We moving away from things that's taking our energy and not play, replacing. There ain't nothing wrong with giving your energy. I ain't nothing wrong with exchanging this beautiful energy. Like right now, we exchange energy. I come tell, talk to y'all in my own special way about this energy that may be around y'all that could be around me. You feel me? Your comments, you let me know. Your likes, your subscribes, let me know. That's that energy. See how it's equal exchange. You're coming here getting something and re receiving something simple it's a it, it, it's a together thing when motherfuckers is not putting back into you you do not put into them 
because that shows your lack of love for yourself. Then we have, look, Seven of Swords. Yeah. You moving away from any sneaky energy, anything that has taken from you in the past, anything that has stolen from you in the past, anything that has tried to deceive you, play mind games that was trying to hide shit from you. No, all that shit is being bring to light. You have people that are going to try to head. You have sneaky people that's going to be trying to go into your future. Yeah. People want to come to you right now because you lit collector. People want to come to you right now. Why? They want to come to you because you're going somewhere. All these sneaky people now look, okay, so like, this is the past. This is the future, right? Since this was the first card, I'm trying to show y'all how I see this energy. So the six of swords talk about leaving a, 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 a situation mentally. Y'all ever been in a marriage and, 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 I mean, you ever seen somebody in a marriage, like one individual just do not give a fuck about the marriage. Like, bitch, do what you want to do. I don't even care. I'm, I'm here, but I'm not here. That's mentally gone. No longer giving it any energy. You know what I'm saying? This right here are the sneaky people that that that, that you done moved away from trying to come back in to your to to your abundance. Let's see. Let's see. Hold on. To your abundance. These are the people that's about to come in to see if they can trigger you. If they still you still have some type of feeling for them. Because your abundance is here. What do you need to do to move forward? You cutting off anything that is that that, that, that looks sneaky. Bitch, you smell sneaky. I don't know. You got a little stinky stink to you. A stinky stench. A sneaky stench, bitch. <laughs> You got a you got a sneaky stench. I <laughs> just sneaky stench ass. Get your sneaky smelling ass away from me. Ain't nobody got time for that. Mm mm. Not on this good Sunday. And why? Why are they coming? Because they see your ten of pentacles, baby. Collective. God, Lee, these readings are becoming very powerful. You have a lot of powerful collective that's tapping in. You are going into a new beginning. This is abundance financial abundance this is children those who've been trying to have kids this is children this is marriage those who've been trying to get married they've been in a relationship and want to get married to them you're gonna realize if you need to leave them or go along because the thing is if you need to leave something you need to leave it so that you can get this because this is already here so basically it's already in the mix if it hasn't came yet it is on its way like maybe tomorrow you might meet somebody and be like god lead is moving fast but the thing is you got these sneaky people around you right now trying to get back into your energy. They fucked up. These are the same people that probably still can't apologize to this day about some shit they did that they know they did. And they still in this energy because they're trying to hide the truth. Either hide their feelings about what the fuck they did in the past. So they want to come in and talk about it so that they could move into your beginning. What are they sneaking for? They're sneaking because at the end of the day, they want to be a part of your abundance. No, bitch. You're the reason why I am abundant. Because I have to believe in myself. Why would I take you in there? I believe in myself now. I don't. I'm not, you can't get any of my riches. I can't let you around my people. You feel me? And then we have, look, Eight of Pentacles. Right now, Collective, you are sitting back and you are analyzing who is who, what is what, and who going well. Because a lot of people that, that that's going to be trying to pop up, like, you already starting to get phone calls. If you already started getting phone calls, just put 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 the eye emoji, the eyes, like, the, the mm-hmm, because you know they there. And right now, you like, uh-uh. I can't, I can't even fake it no more. Back in the day, I used to be like, oh, yeah, you let the nigga come on. I don't care. No, I'm sorry. They're not allowed. I'm sorry. It's not enough room. I only have occupation for one. Me. And you're deciding because this victory is yours, collective. Mm. Well, y'all, I want to say, you know, I, I wanted to keep the sermon short today because it is a beautiful Easter Sunday. I know y'all want to go pick eggs and stuff, be with the kids and the babies and grandkids and all that. So I'm going to keep church short today. But I want you to know, remember the message, all right? You got to leave some people behind to get to where you're going, okay? This victory is yours. But you know what? You got to leave some people behind to get where you're going. Up. Oh, time to start siphoning them out all right because why because we're victorious you're no longer in these boats no more baby you you are you made it you're not in the ship you made it you made it your destiny is here i love you guys we are in this together remember we are the gods tap into your power we are very 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 powerful beings i don't just say that because it sound good i say it because it's the truth tap in your victory is here i love you and you're looking so beautiful, too. Like and subscribe. Go check out our Phoenix Intuition channel. All right, y'all. Oh, thank y'all for the donations. I love y'all with all my heart. It really means a lot to me. Thank you.